Hello, hello. So, took me like a gazillion years, but uh, Mac 3 finally works with this piece of shit here. I thought it was a nice USB controller, but I, I think I will buy another one. I bought the second hand ones for way too much money. Uh, but this is completely Chinesium and the manuals are Chinesium and everything is Chinesium and I fucking hate it. Reason is the documentation is shit and it's worth a lot. Now I had to dick around a lot to make it work. Now there's one problem. Um, this driver seems to hold a a holding torque on the motor permanently uh, and there's no way of disabling that normally you have the enable pins but if I disconnect them it, it still holds it so maybe it's uh, release it, it releases it on high that might be the case so it might not be the trouble of this guy but this one doesn't seem to put it out and the reason is, in the documentation, they never mention using enable thingies or outputs. They have like how you put the motors, you, the settings for the motors work finally. But I can't seem to have this enable pin working. So this might be a, a yeah, enable high might disable the driver. So if I unplug this the driver still holds its torque instead of uh, losing up. I could check that by giving this two pins five volt and see if that does anything. Well anyhow um, this whole setup doesn't have to work I can buy another controller. I want to know the ball screw whip. So I added a piece of wood nothing special of course just a um, thing to hold it together. Um, I wanted to see if this hole, the problem I had previously, you can see the ridge here and the ball screw is here. So I think if I make a make it a little bit wider maybe, maybe a little bit bigger overall, I can uh, cut out a notch out of this piece here and I could insert a grease nipple by using one of these. These. So screw in the grease nipple, nipple, grease the thing up, remove the nipple. Not even sure if I have to, you know, put something in there to hold the grease in there. I don't think I have to. Uh, and then it should work. So uh, I think it might work. I have to cut a piece out of this aluminium to see if it really lines up before I build the rest. So I'll make a cut in one of these pieces and see if I can attach a nipple to the ball screw. So far that looks good. Uh, was not my idea by the way. Well <laughs> this was kind of my idea except for you can remove the nipple, that part I missed. There were two or three people mentioning that in the previous video. Maybe you can like remove the nipple and then it might work. So thank you. A lot of uh, interesting replies by the way. So first off I wanted to check like accuracy and well I've seen better. on my other machine for instance. So I'll uh, move it a few millimeters and see how it goes because X minus uh, let's say 100 millimeter. Ah fuck, that's gonna take ages. <laughs> it's very slow. So I'll, I'll change the feed rate, so it's uh, F200 I believe right now, yes. Let's make it 500. 
F five hundred. Uh, X. It's not the X axis, but that's where the motor is working on right now. X zero. Well, it's not bad. There you go. Quite doable, it's on zero again. So, well, that's one thing. Now the biggest problem of it all. I tested this only to be sure it does indeed move this amount of millimeters it says it should okay so something really weird is happening so um it says here feed rate is uh, let's see fifteen hundred which is weird because it should be six a thousand you can hear when it moves in this piece here it no well, maybe you don't hear but there's vibration so the screw is whipping so uh six thousand on the rapids is too much but i'll keep it here just for for fun and giggles because the feed rate here says 1500 oh it says nothing at all 1500 units per minute, which is not the case. Uh, and we're gonna check that because, well, it's kind of weird. Normally this is correct. So what we're gonna do, and it's really low tech, we're gonna say, uh, move one meter and I'm gonna start a, oh, timer here most professional method of doing this but I just want to be clear uh, Mac 3 is fucking up <laughs> 10 seconds and 40 10.4 yeah that is 6,000 millimeters a minute so yeah I don't know what Mac 3 is uh, thinking here but uh, it's most most certainly is not correct anyhow uh, 6,000 is barely doable uh, without whipping and the problem is I wish I could let you hear it but it's a low frequency rumble when it whips uh, so it is well I can like exaggerate it let's make it let's go bananas and make it uh, eight eight thousand then at least I can show you what's happening hopefully without destroying my ball screw so here we have to bounce ball screw so now the carriage is in the middle that's fine if it's at the end, we can expect some whipping. Did you see it? Here, you can see it quite clearly with the shadow. From here it's stable. So although it still sounds nice, it's just the length of the ball, ball screw is nah, not doing it for this kind of speed. If I went for 25, I might have, might have been possible to reach these rapids at least. Uh, in this case... Oh, is this still 6000? That would be quite terrible. 
whip, whip, whip. Yeah. So let's make it eight. <laughs> so it becomes more terrible. Everything is wiggling. So even thick uh, 6,000 is not nice. One thing I could try, uh, that might be a way too much effort, but what you can do is, this is a uh, support bearing. So it's not an, it cannot take trust on this direction. What you can do is make or get another of these more expensive bearings that can and then pull on this. And that sounds ridiculous, but I thought about maybe with some springs and such, you can get that wobble maybe a little bit down at these higher speeds. But I can imagine you have to pull really hard uh, after a while. So I'm not sure if it's feasible or even, you know, sane to do that. And, uh, I must say it's lying it's lying on its back. Maybe it's different when I turn it over. I could check but because this is the way it will be standing. This is six. So on its side, 5.5, maybe 6 even, might work. So uh, yeah, I think that means um, I'm not going to replace the ball screw for anything else for now. At this length, it just looks so fucking wimpy slow, but, but yeah, it might be, it is probably. My old machine can do eight or something, and on one axis it can do easily, I don't know, 14, because it has 20 millimeter pitch. They should make more ball screws with 20 millimeter pitch, to be fair. Cool. So we tested that. I'm gonna order a new nut to replace the one I fucked up. See you later.